This is the place? The environment seems to match. And truthfully, so does the interior. <laughs> yeah, my family seems to leave plenty of mess behind. Is this the treasure vault? Certainly looks the part. Approach it carefully, young master. There may yet be traps awaiting. Could that be it? The end of our woes? Ah, uh, do you see a way to open it, Griffith? Let us see. My, what a stereotypical situation. Just what am I supposed to say, huh? I wouldn't do that if I were you. <laughs> well, did that come out right, Sir K? Who, what? Do we know each other? Each other? No. But I know you. Uh huh? You trespass upon Lauren property. You shall identify yourself this moment. Yes, yes, drama. Always stoking the drama. But I hate drama. Tell me, has nobody told you that silence is gold? All these months and you still haven't taught your guard dog not to yap needlessly. Some authority you have. Not a foul word more. You are insulting the ruler of this land. <laughs> Am I? Is he? Perhaps you were a little bit too bold in calling me a trespasser. I am Karen Lorne of Estir, heir apparent to Escalia, inheritor of Rashtil Expanse, and by blood, the last scion of House Lorne. What? Wh what kind of nonsense is this? A dramatic surprise, check. Now step aside. A treasure of my ancestors awaits me. What? Just what the hell is your problem? Explain yourself now! No, I owe you no explanation. The world doesn't work like that. You do well to finally learn that little lesson, Lord K. Not a step further! You'd raise your hand against your king? Enough with this! I do not know what deception you are trying to weave here, but you are no king of mine. My liege stands right here with me. I serve Kay of House Lauren. <sighs> we just can't avoid this little standoff, can we? All right, have it your way. On with the grand reveals. One, you are way too loud. Two, you are starting to greatly annoy me. Three, your liege is no more Lauren than you are. And you are, might I remind you, a lowly servant. And so is he. What? I know your precious sisters have been busy messing with the past, digging up scraps left behind by their betters. They did a decent job, but they were misinformed at core. And you know this how, exactly? The heirloom script of House Lauren. Remember that? Riddle me this. How did you obtain it? As I recall, Gwen received it anonymously through a noble from... Ah. From Estir, that's right. But let's make one thing clear. It wasn't a gift, nor a gesture of sympathy. My family has spent ages in exile, unable to exercise their God-given right, all due to that ridiculous debt. Unable to rule, unable to act, hiding behind the names and borders of foreign kingdoms. The humiliation! Did you think, perhaps, that you would accomplish something? That you had stumbled upon some delicious riddle from the past? The treasure story has always been an open secret among members of the house, and a silly one at that. An untouched treasure, in this day and age, a likely tale. Imagine my surprise when I learned that there was Pretender in Rashtil, one all too willing to chase that wild goose and desperate enough to take risks against the furtive Union. And yet, in an even better turn of events, the treasure turned out to exist after all. All it took was to watch from afar, nudge you once or twice and move in at the right moment. Minimum effort, maximum payback. How nice of you to do all the work for me. The debt will be paid. The kingdom will be reclaimed. Glory to House Lauren, at last. But you're not making sense. I am the last Lauren. Sense, sense, sense! 
still moaning about this. I told you already. You are but a servant. See, once upon a time, there were these crusades. The crusades again? Yes, confusing business to say the least. A time when House Loren was betrayed by his allies. When Lord Damar and Shedu, two worthless excuses of nations, raised Escalia to the ground. The outrage! And worst of all, the rabble rose against him too. His own subjects, just like that. Duke Martell of House Loren was a madman! He had convinced himself that he was an elf and cared little for anything else. He was the king! Right or wrong, his will was to be obeyed! Fortunately for your dumb little head, one man understood that way better than you do. One man put his own fatness and well-being to save his king. Huh? When the armies came calling, the Duke chose to flee in secrecy to his holdings in S-tier. Gods don't bleed after all, do they? Neither do elves, if stories are to be believed. Alas, nobody told his enemies that. They craved his head. And one man, Martel's favorite servant, gave them just that. Believing in his lord and house, he proposed a plan. He took his insignia, his robes, and... See where I'm going with this? <sighs> I can't hear you. They switched places. Correct. You are nothing more than a descendant of a servant. How does it feel knowing that you've been living a lie? Well, I don't care either way. And truthfully, why would I, commoner? Young master, this is utter nonsense. Why should we believe him? His words are no proof. Hmm, is that so? Does your lord share this opinion? Have you never wondered why everything seems so ill-fitting? Not your time, not your place, perhaps? Looking like the old king. Your smell, it's different than what I remember. You wear a familiar name, manling. Thought you'd be taller. But the Anam knows not of you. Bulkier. What mask lies upon thee? Uh, black hair, beard. Do not fight for a legacy that you should not be part of. I'm not a Lauren, am I? And so the truth finally dawns, with remarkably little drama, too. Just be so kind and don't burst into tears right now, body nonsense. And you, Griffith? How does it feel to be oath-bound to a lie? All your life in vain, serving the son of a dirty commoner. Where's honor in that? <sighs> this changes nothing. Jeez, so stubborn. Now, though, let your king pass. Never! Let him pass, Griffith. Young master! I said, let him pass. Huh, <laughs> about time to wisen up. But, I... <clears throat> yes. Ah, <sighs> finally, my birthright. <laughs> you know, when I heard that some commoner managed to usurp Escalia, I was furious. An outsider in the halls of Castle Lorin. Unacceptable. But you surprised me. You took it upon yourself to pay off the debt. You cleaned the place up. And somehow, despite being crapped on from every possible direction, you moved onward. A premium pawn, wouldn't you say? <sighs> oh, we went through this already. I may be a patient man, but... Know your damn place! Do you really think I'd come here unprepared? There is a whole regiment of men from the Lesser Kingdoms outside, just waiting for a dumb move like this! Hardly mercs, the kind that itches to stab a fluffy bunny, so don't. Yes, that's right. Why throw everything away? Treasure these last moments of personal glory. What do you mean? Well, as the true king, 
It is in my divine right to take what is mine, no? Iskalia awaits. In fact, you may go now. Someone needs to make the preparations. Maybe get a scribe to write down the event. We shall call it Return of the King. No, wait, that's too corny. Go nevertheless. This... I... Sire. Go, I shan't be long.